National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Abdullahi Gandhiji, has refuted purported suspension from his role within the party. Dr. Gandhiji, while addressing a delegation of APC members from his ward in Kano State, who paid a solidarity visit to him at the party's headquarters in Abuja, described those who announced his suspension as imposters and warned that such individuals would face legal consequences. Our correspondent Fumilola Adeyemi brings us details. 15th of April 2024, nine members who claimed to be from Ganduji Ward proclaimed the suspension of the national chairman of the APC over allegations of corruption slammed on him by Kano state government. The suspension was however voided by 27 executive members of the Ganduji Ward who paid him a solidarity visit. <laughs> This delegation here from Dawaki Tofa has come to visit as a result of the disturbing political development at what level of the party. The 27-man delegate that is here totally dissociates itself from the illegal and unconstitutional happenings in the world level. We are urging the APC leaders in Kano State to nip these unfortunate political happenings in the board because they are being sponsored by mischief makers to bring rancor and division within the party in the state. No. The whole scenario is a script being played out to achieve the deity political ambition of a few. The All those who use my name to carry out this mischief, I will never... On his part, the national chairman of the party, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduji, vows to take legal action as the party has officially written to the Inspector General of Police, urging an investigation and the arrest of anyone found guilty in this regard. It's a new destructive phenomenon which should not be allowed to thrive if a political party, an opposing political party, can just gather people from motor park and claim that they are exactly members of another political party. I think this new dimension, this new destruction, should be checked by the security agencies and even the judiciary. So I assure you, we'll not allow those saboteurs, those fake APC politicians, to go free like that. Who have already written to the IGP, to the DGDSS, and we are pursuing this case. Speaking to the court order from Kano State High Court, the National Legal Advisor has this to say. We don't know where all this is coming from. Um, our primary investigation in the case that it's a fraud a typical 419 situation here and um, unfortunately they've also gone too far by taking the fraudulent documents and circulating it to all of you we're also hearing this afternoon we have not seen any court order we're also hearing that they've used the same fraudulent document to go to court to obtain an order of the court we haven't seen the order but we heard about it for whatever kind of order that will emanate from such a document will also be an order obtained by fraud. And all of us know, even a 100 level law student will tell you that an order obtained by fraud is an unlawful order and would not be enforceable. However, support group gathered outside the party's sectarian chanting solidarity song for Dr. Ganduji. <laughs>
Dr. Ganduji's suspension was announced on Monday by members of the APC from its ward in the Wankitofa local government area of Kano State, alleging corruption, including bribery levied against him by the Kano State government. Familala Adeyemi, 